they were talking about the gut health and mental health. And I remember in medical school, we always uh, talked about the gut being the second brain, but not as this connection and what's going on with this gut flora, the, these beneficial bacteria that are actually present. Uh, so I wanted to learn more and I was actually wowed by the fact that... Hi, and thank you for joining us. I am here with Dr. Wanda, and today we're going to be talking about gut health. Dr. Wanda comes to us with many years of experience, and I had the privilege of meeting her at a wellness symposium that we both attended. So it's been a pleasure getting to know her, and I'm just going to share a bit about her. Over the years, Dr. Wanda has worked in cardiovascular and maternal fetal medicine research and taught healthcare to a diverse population of adult learners in different settings. Thank you for joining us. In 2013, Dr. Wanda started her own business as she knew that her passion for health education would help many. She focuses on helping women who struggles with digestive and mental health challenges and who wants to live a healthier lifestyle without dieting to manage their stress level. My question of the hour is, being a doctor, what is it that drew you specifically to wanting to research more about gut health. Prior to doing what I was doing, which was um, working in health information technology, uh, teaching, I had, I always loved to learn and I stumbled across a nine day documentary talking about gut health. They were talking about the gut health and mental health. And I remember in medical school, we always uh, talked about the gut being the second brain, but not as this connection and what's going on with this gut flora, the, these beneficial bacteria that are actually present. Uh, so I wanted to learn more and I was actually wowed by the fact that there was so much more to the gut flora that we did not know. And that got me more excited to learn. And I just learned tons during those nine days of documentation about it. That's awesome. So it's not something that was a part of your curriculum, so to speak. Exactly. Because, well, we have to be understanding here that way back when, whatever that knowledge is for that time is what you learn in medical school or any uh, universities. And as, as time goes on, as research evolves, technology evolves, there's so much more that we get to learn. Just like in 2007, uh, there was a human genome project where uh, scientists identify every gene in the body. Well, unbeknownst to me, there was something similar being done about the bacteria, what we call the gut flora, those beneficial bacteria that actually live in our small and large intestine. So the same, the same project was being done, identifying these bacteria and what role they play in our health. And now they are connecting these gut flora, these bacteria with our mental health. And this is, this is where the disconnect is, I feel, when it comes to treatment um, in the medical arena. So yes, there are certainly a lot of more research that's being focused on the gut microbiome and how it affects our body in general. Just today I was looking at an article and it was talking about making mosquito repellents that are something to do with their, the microbiome and how it would detract them from you. So yeah, definitely a ton of research going into that. There is a mental wellness company that we're both a part of that has taken an extra step in focusing primarily on how the microbiome affects mental health. What is it that drew you to partner with this company versus another? Interestingly enough, I didn't even know that there was a company that focused on the gut-brain health connection. I had no idea that that existed. So how I heard about it was that in 2018, I was a guest speaker at a women's retreat. And the topic that I was presenting was on gut health. 
believe it or not. So call it serendipity, call it a chance encounter. And I met this woman in the audience that told me about a company that focused on it and had natural solutions for people with digestive and mental health challenges. And I said, really? How come I didn't hear about that? I'm the, I'm the one who, who, who reads so much and listens to so many things. How come I didn't hear about this company? And, and then I did my research. Right. And now you're a part of it. And I know there are other companies that focuses on the stool and the different bacteria that are in there. But are there other companies that are also making the connection between the gut microbiome and mental health? You know what? I really haven't found one. And if there is, hey, whatever they are doing, they are doing. But what I have found is there are companies who are talking about much more about the gut flora, but they are using really more of these, the words like probiotics. And now probiotics is everywhere. And I think it's a little bit deceptive uh, to use the word probiotic without having the actual context behind it. I mean, imagine just the other day I'm watching TV. There's a commercial that talks about a soap and then they put probiotics in the soap. What does that really mean? You see, so companies who are focusing on probiotics, they are doing that great. There are some who are focusing on supplements about brain health, but I, I haven't found a company that actually connects the two in order to have a solution like the mental wellness company that we are both in, where there, it's a package solution for specific, it's targeted. And I haven't found, I haven't seen anything that targets different condition, different symptoms. Right. And for me, how I found out about this mental wellness company is that I was having digestive issues. And of course, I was going to the Whole Food store, doing my Google research, going to the Whole Food store and shopping down the aisle for everything that had to do with gut. <laughs> and I was even asking the store attendants, you know, what is it that I could get that was best for my gut? And the reason behind that was I had gone to my gastroenterologist. Um, we did an upper endoscopy and he prescribed me pentoprazole. I indicated to him that I would prefer to search through a natural solution first before I started taking pharmaceuticals. And he basically told me that I should just take the medication. And he left me like that. Now, I knew that I did not want to live on pharmaceuticals like that because I had older patient population at the time and they had been taking medication for 40 years. And we all know the label says you should only take it for 14 days. So I did not want that to be my story. And that's how I found out about um, this, looking for natural solutions. So I know some people are more on the skeptic side of not wanting to go with natural solution because of bad experiences that they've had. Either it doesn't work or they're saying that the companies that make them are not approved by FDA. What would you say about that? You know what? 